everyone, welcome to another episode of Super Reaction Bros. And on today's episode, we're taking a look at a new gameplay show for Battlefield 1 that just, oh well, that's just arrived, but arrived earlier this By week. Time this, game, so. Yeah, from last week pretty much. By the yeah. time this video gets posted, it'll be last week. So Now, I guess for those who didn't watch the previous Battlefield 1 video or saw that we didn't really give a care about the EA press conference, which you can probably see on our channel. <laughs> that, I'm, I'm sorry, I have to, I have to cut off that. I, oh my god, was that a boring ass press conference? Oh god, yeah. Jesus EA, god. oh my goodness. It's been, it was their worst ever. Yeah. Ever, ever. Because they didn't have anything ready for it. PlayStation proved you can do more in a little over an hour. You can do still something amazing. Just, just get it. It's like, you know what? Let's just get what the fans want. Games. Here we go. Games. So, Battlefield 1, it's back to the past. Yeah. Again, I'm not going to even try with the war. <laughs> it's, it's back then, it's when we were battling. It's one of the world wars, okay? Battling those guys from Germany. Either Germans or Nazis. I think it's the Germans. I'm just going to go with... Let's continue with this. <laughs> this Battlefield 1 game is here. I believe this shows off more of the desert area, because we were teased with that, the E3 at the end yeah, of the E3. Yeah, 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 exactly. Because oh, that's, that's really now, sure cause now you can, in multiplayer maps, you can ride on horses and kill more Horseback, yeah, you can be, now you can ride on horseback and things like that. Um, we did see, I did get to see some of the gameplay pretty much from, at least a multiplayer standpoint, and it looks really good, the I details and stuff like I that. I do not remember the release date for this game. I believe it's this, it's, it's going to be essentially October or November, I think November. Probably November, because October you have the Call of Duty. So probably Call of Duty because you have Call of Duty in October and then the following month that's when you have Battlefield One. So or vice versa. I don't even remember. No, 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 no. It is October because for, I have my game for Call of Duty. Okay. So, so as I said, most likely this is definitely November. Let's get to it. Let's get to, to uh, this uh, Battlefield One official Gamescom gameplay trailer. See what the uh, what new stuff we're going to be seeing in this one. New interesting stuff, new things, and I don't just stuff. So let's check this out. <laughs> Okay, um, the reason we say, oh great, it says in-game footage, you know, it's just that, you know, it's that they show the shots of the in-game footage, and you can clearly tell it's a CG trailer. Yeah, yeah, it's I mean, so I mean, don't get me wrong, they, unlike the first Battlefront trailer, it didn't do that. It was like, small snippet, actual footage rest the story. Yeah, exactly. And there are times, even when they show, like, in-game... A lot of times, it's like graphically, they're making it graphically look so amazing, even in gameplay. Perfect example is Watch Dogs. You know, it's when, you, when people got the games onto their consoles, even when I got the game on the console, it's like, it wasn't like sharp or like as, as poignant that, that you saw it from E3, when you're like, holy crap, and you're like, wait a minute, that, that, these are the graphics. You know, it's like, he, that's why we, sometimes we say, you know, oh, gameplay. It's like, we'd rather see oh, it from I mean, someone playing it hands on. From the looks of it, it says that was the Xbox One footage, which, okay, that's, that's pretty yeah, impressive. Yeah, it's pretty, it's still and, impressive. And overall, it's, 
it's keeping with its namesake. That's a fucking battlefield. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's it everything you can do from, like you said, the tanks, the train tanks, my, the horses. Look, some of the favorite videos to look on the gaming on the R gaming subreddit is the bat or insane shit you can do in battlefield. Oh yeah, it's some of the stuff that people have done from train uh, from transport from vehicle to I vehicle. I saw one where a guy strapped C four to the front of his helicopter, crashed into a tank, jumped out, and hit the detonator button, destroying the tank. Yeah. I mean, oh, the ones where the guy gets out, caps the guy in the air jet, and lands back in the jet. In the jet, like it was nothing. I mean, I'm looking forward to that, pretty much. I mean, I don't really play the Battlefield series. I know it's it's multiplayer is its main, usually its main focus. Battlefield's never been truly known for single player campaign. Yeah. Though, like, well, any type of any type of war games, like you know, like from Battlefield to even Call of Duty. The story pretty much usually doesn't go as strong as you want it. Lots of times, it's always they always worked fully on the multiplayer. They want the multiplayer experience. They want people to enjoy the multiplayer. Well, I, I guess I guess it's going to slightly a different topic now as well. Well, it's it's, it's no, still no, the same no, topic. No, no, no. What I mean is the fact that the game should have focus main focus on both. You know, has your core focus on both. It yeah. Have, have focus on making single player campaign worthwhile, worth playing, and multiplayer worth playing afterwards. I don't, I don't like games where yeah. multiplayer is the only. They focus too much on, on the one multiplayer, thing. and then the single player is schlock. Yeah. Like, call, like they, they put too much of focus on the multiplayer, and there's very little to the story. Like main story. Battlefield games have done that. Call of Duty games are guilty of that too. Mm -hmm. Even th like normal third person adventure games are guilty of that too. Yeah, exactly. They focus too much on the multiplayer, and again, back on the story, they just they just lackluster. You know. I mean, I'm so I'll probably try this out. There's um there's talk of a beta. I mean, I guess there is a beta coming. Early access to bits of the beta will be so, coming soon. I wouldn't um, mind trying out the least. I'm probably not going to pick it up. I won't try it out. Oh yeah, out. same here. I, like I said, I'll try it out just for, just for the heck of it. I wouldn't mind trying out the beta. Um, but, I mean, but even when Call of Duty came out with the trailer and then their trailer and stuff like that, everyone's like, oh wow, you know, we're getting... You know, Call of Duty, you know, Modern Warfare Remaster, stuff like that. You know, in the gameplay they show, it's like, oh, wow. But all of a sudden, Battlefield, when they came out with their trailer, it literally just blew away, away from the Call of Duty uh, trailer. Because you're, you're like, holy crap. You're like, there, there, there are times when, though, besides the multiplayer and the story, it's like, trailer-wise, one knows how to present it better than the other. And yet, you still have to... Play, you still have to buy Infinite Warfare to get remastered. Yeah, it doesn't bother me. Honestly, it does <laughs> I not bother me. It, it bothers me a little bit. I don't play. I I play a little bit of Modern Warfare, so that bothers me a little. Like the game looks great, and they're like, "Oh, wait, wait, you have to get Infinite Warfare." I'm like, mm, I mean, Infinite Warfare looks good, but you know, I I, I wouldn't mind a whole separate thing. Yeah, exactly. We're, we're getting off track because we're, we're talking now calling Call of Duty in a battlefield. Well, either which way, that's the whole point. Is the, is, is showing the differences between these games. Because you got to realize, these games are like in competition with each other all the time. You know, for these war games. Going back and forth, bam, bam, to see who can come out with a you know better hit game, you know. It's like trying to grab people from one side of the you know, fence yeah. and try to bring them over Personal here. Personal opinion, I think, I think most military shooters should take a year off. <laughs> all like both the Battlefield and Call of Duty should just take a solid year off. Yeah. Just like rethink and come back. Come you know, back fresh. to something stronger. Like Assassin's fresh. Creed. Assassin's Creed's doing that. Where yeah, they're just the main focus this year is just the movie. Was was the movie this year was the the movie and we had the three little the, the three games pretty much the China Russia and uh, India. Yeah, the smaller game. And, yeah, yeah, those were doing like yeah, smaller games. I'm it's like they released yeah. those smaller games at the beginning of the year and then it's like you know we got the movie coming out so that makes up so for I, it. Yeah, I won't be surprised if like an actual numbered AC game comes out next year. So. Either, yeah, and and believe me, uh, from the what they said, even for the leaked footage, for even for that, pretty much was it. We're going to Egypt for that. So even with the, like, like you know, certain games, it's like they need to take a year break, like you said, take a year break. And it's like, you know what? Let's just take a breather. It's focus, and you know what? It's like have one group focus so much heavily on the story, but also have another group heavily focus on the multiplayer. So then it'll be equally about the same. Where it's like, oh, it's one whole. You know, for the game in, in full, it's fantastic, you know? But it's like you need to stop heavily focusing on one thing and then instead of the other. Yeah. You need to work together course. as, you know, a, co a coercive, a cohesive, that's what I mean, cohesive type of unit. Yeah, you don't want to be coercive. No, you, you don't. don't. No. But other than that, we're interested. Check, we'll probably check it out. 
Uh, October 21st is its release date, according to the end of this video. So, so that means that it's going to be Call of Duty and Modern Warfare in the same once month. Once again, so... Other than that, though, if you like this video enough, hit the like button. If you want to talk about Battlefield, Call of Duty, military shooters, blah, 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 yeah, 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 comment below. Yes. And if you want to share with the world, share it to the world. And if you like us just a little bit more than anybody else, hit subscribe. subscribe. And you want to see if our past videos we've done recently, just click down below. Check us out. See what we've been up to lately. Um, did we do uh, the, the reaction to the other Battlefield one? Do we? I forgot. Yeah, we did. Oh, yeah, we did. We E3. did. E3. They yeah, literally yeah. showed that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, they showed that trailer like yeah. twice. Yeah, we'll put, and I'll we'll put down our reaction to that. Um, to the boring fucking EA. Press wake press. up, wake up, wake up. We're not done. Um, yet. but <laughs> no, um, but just click down below. Check us out. You know, check out the uh, that that reaction to our last video that we did for Battlefield. Yeah, definitely check that out. And today's episode question, very simple. In your opinion on military shooters? Yeah, exactly. I mean. What do you think of them? I mean, the way they're competing against each other. You know, just like how sports, you know, they're always competing with each other, you know? So, it's, you know, definitely the comment down below. Other than that, though, I'm Kristen. I'm Christopher. And that's been a very war-torn episode of SRV. Oh, well, I guess it has been. See ya! Later.